Hi, Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. This morning I wanted to do a little video on some pans I got at Amazon. My wonderful husband found them and he ordered them for me and I was so thrilled. So I want to do a little video all about baking pans. Okay, so we're going to do that in the dining room and I want to just give you a little tour of the dining room. I'm going to flip this over and show you what the dining room looks like. I don't think I've done a video. Excuse all the wiggling. All right, here we are. And this is comes directly off the living room. There's no light on in there right now. All right, so I move the horse or the little carousel pony, it really is, into the dining room several months ago. There's a picture of the children. There's a picture I painted of the Citadel, Citadel Summerall Guards. This one, let's see, this one right here. This one is my son. I signed the painting. I did a lot of paintings of the Citadel when the boys were there. And I actually ended up selling all of them to um, an art dealer from, uh, I think he was from Charleston. Not sure. Anyway, I did a whole bunch of them. All right. The curtains up at the window. You can't see that very good. Uh, the wall color is Adobe. I made these curtains several years ago. I also had to make the shears, the lace shears, because all the windows in this house are 95 inches, and it's hard to find curtains to fit that tall of a window. There they are. And they do close up and of course it keeps the sun out in the summertime. There's the sideboard and I bought that at an antique uh, dealer in Columbia, South Carolina. She had just gotten it from this uh, really old lady who was selling her dining room stuff and that's the original uh, mirror, beveled mirror in the back of it. You really can't see that very good. And these chairs we just bought new. See if you can see the bevel. I don't know, it doesn't, yeah, there you can see it. It's beveled and this is the original mirror. And I did, it was covered with shellac so I had to refinish it myself. Anyway, there's the other matching chair. There's my messy kitchen. And here's the fireplace. And that little uh, rabbit is just like a cement kind of little uh, ornament you would put in the yard. And I just painted it. I liked it for in here. All right, and here's the dining room table. Now the, the dining room table and the sideboard are all uh, oak. And the uh, table we bought at a place called Goodwood, which was unfinished furniture, and also the chairs. And we refinished them to match the sideboard over here. And this table used to seat 12, and my husband and I cut it down because we thought it was just way too big for this room, even though that worked back then. And now when we have, you know, the grandkids and all here, uh, part of us eat in the kitchen and part of us eat in the dining room. That's just the way we do it. All right, so this is the largest room in the house. It's 15 feet wide and 18 feet from this door to the windows over here. And there's my chandelier. I really would like to get little shades to go on that. But of course, this house is over 100 years old, so you can see that we have this super wide molding. Now, some previous owners before us put up that popcorn ceiling, which I hate, but that's the way it is. Too much trouble to take it down. All right, so there's my pride and joy on the sideboard. I know when I, when I she actually, the lady at the antique, it was actually a little house. It was an antique shop, and she, her husband had just unloaded it from the truck and was sitting out in the yard, and uh, she sold it to me. So, and he delivered it for me, and of course it took me a couple of days to strip all that shellac off, but I thought I did a pretty good job, and it goes perfectly in this house for the period of this house. All right, so now I'm gonna post this video, just tour of the dining room, we'll call it. There's that painting again. 
and there's the living room. Now the rug that's in the living room and this one that's in the dining room are, were made in Russia. They're all 100% wool and they've got a real similar design and the colors are similar. So that's why we got it. And also the rug in the foyer is a similar design. Now I got, I, I really wanted this type of rug because you see it doesn't show any lint or anything so or any dirt and these rugs are let's see i bought them probably 20 years ago i would say anyway they've held up really really well all right so that's the tour of the dining room now the next video i'm going to do is going to be about stainless steel pots and pans so i'm going to be doing it in here um, using this table so y'all will get a good look all right so we will see you on the next video